Estongo Seminologi Jeremy Fultz, Cheho Jifkado, Samojanita, Hadam Nita, He, those are Popo Hoyan. Moan Delaney, Doc Legis. Estongo. Estongo? Estongo is Os. Well, it's been a good day. My name is Jeremy Fultz. We are back on the air, Delaney. We're back. We made it back. You know, there, there's nothing more humbling than being replaced by Joe Joe Bender. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, Joe, if Joe can do what I can do, man, I'm I'm He's extremely humbled. It. He's coming for you. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to give a big shout out, Mado Joe, for filling in. Last week, I wasn't feeling too good, and... Where was we the week before that? Was we in Tulsa that week doing that uh, conference? Yeah, yeah. Man, this summer's been busy. And so um, today is Tuesday, June, June 27th. It's almost July. Already. The weather already it started off warm. Cold front come through this morning. Some rain. Dropped all the way down to 69 in Little Oklahoma, Bo. I know you was giving out the weather earlier, and I heard that... Um, I heard red blobs and yellow blobs, <laughs> and I guess we we got the cold blob over in Little where we work at. It took it. So. It'll stay that way. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like a hundred this afternoon when that sun <laughs> comes out, though. So what's been going on, Delaney? We talked about let's see, two weeks ago we was in Tulsa for a language conference for the Tulsa Public Schools. Mm-hmm. Last week, I wasn't feeling too good. What happened last week? <laughs> Did you do anything? Creek Nation had their Creek Nation Festival going on last week and um I went to the stomp dance on Thursday night. Fish Pond Fish Pond hosted that and so it was good seeing everyone. Uh, Oba Mac was the MC and got to see one of our good faithful listeners. Alice Mac was out there. Uh, yeah, I see her running around. Yeah. <laughs> home of the higher. Yeah. Right yeah. She's busy. She was keeping everyone in line, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see what else was going on. Oh, also, um, ICW was affirmed by the Supreme Court last week. So that was a good thing. The Supreme Court handed down the major decision Thursday in the Holland versus Brackeen case. It was a seven to two vote. And then let's see, yesterday it was today's Tuesday, so Monday. Man, Monday we got we was up and around early yesterday. We had to be at, at Justice Oklahoma. Well, I don't know. If you say Justice Oklahoma, Justice Seminole Nation Territory. People know. People know Ju- Justice. <laughs> justice. We was at Justice yesterday uh, for the Justice Summer Academy, the uh, language department. So Catherine Howe, Delaney Pennock, myself, and then also HPO, Jake, uh, Jake Tiger was out there. And then also uh, ASAP, ASAP was Alcohol, there. Substance, and Abuse Prevention was out there. And had a good time with them kids, and we taught them a pretty cool game yesterday, Delaney. Uh, they seem to enjoy it. Yeah, I guess uh, I saw a post from Assistant Chief on one of our posts yesterday that he was still playing uh, Chedo Choga Skotka. Yeah, I told him his his boy couldn't beat me, so he's probably <laughs> practicing and couldn't work. Getting them skills together a little bit. <laughs> Good deal. So this weekend is going to be the first weekend of July. And so that means it's going to be July 2nd and the 4th and 8th church meetings going on this weekend. Or the church meetings going on this this weekend will be Butler Creek, Cedar Creek. Wait, 
Josiah, you want to give these church names this week? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the hard column. I, I think hard. this is what keeps our job safe right here is this, this do, doing the church <laughs> names. <laughs> yeah. So Butler Creek, Cedar Creek, Ufala, Grave Creek, Greenleaf, Higgity, uh, New Yaka, Randall Mission, Sand Creek. Tallahassee, Tawathli, Tukbafka, Tagabachi, Tuskegee, and we woke Indian Baptist. Josiah's over there. Why do you always get the easy churches every week that you do it? <laughs> so, but no, we um, we we do appreciate Joe for filling in like he did. There's one weekend he was even solo, isn't it? Joe, you yeah. do it just by yourself He's one week. Good. Man, yeah, good job right there. Good job. <laughs> so, the Choga de Lummi, the official publication of the Seminole Nation, is adding church uh, meeting service dates to the monthly publication. So, if you're a member of a Muscogee Seminole church out there and you haven't heard your church listed or you haven't seen your church listed uh, in the Choga de Lummi, make sure you send an email to seminolemedia at gmail.com. To let the communications department know the name of your church and when their next fourth uh, Sunday meeting is going to be. And so uh, they would like to make sure that everyone gets representation. But at this time, every week we talk about the ones that have started their journey. And a lot of families, you know, they're missing loved ones this week, delaying today. Uh, we want to remember those families and members of the uh, community and their thoughts and in your prayers. And at this time, we're going to go ahead and pause for a moment of silence. Mado, 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 mado. And so this week, there looks like there will be a special call meeting June 29th for the General Council of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma that will be held at the Miccosukee Mission Council House. And that's going to be again on Saturday, June 29th at 7 p. Wait, is that Saturday, June 29th? No, that's going to be uh, Thursday night, June 29th. I think that this week, they're, this month's already going by quick, but June 29th is going to be on Thursday night at the Miccosukee Mission Council House. And so the agenda, there looks like there's about four items on the agenda. You have TR 2340, which is a tribal resolution, reaffirming resolution TR 98-113 and TR 2015-72 to authorize the pursuit of mineral claims before the Congress of the United States of America to seek uh, reparations and to hire special legal counsel. TR 2023-41 resolution authorizing a special <coughs> services contract with John Dasuda the third. Then TR 2023-42 a resolution of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma General Council, formally naming the General Council House and Tribal Courts Building in honor of Honorable William Watlin. TR 2023-43 resolution acknowledging the review of the final 2022 Seminole Nation Annual Audit Report and its submission to governmental agencies. And again, this is going to be on a special call meeting happening at the Miccosukee Mission Council House on June 29th at 7 p.m. Again, that's going to be Thursday evening. And then also with the band uh, or with the general council meeting happening, there's also band meetings taking place. And so the Ochizi Band will have a band meeting at the North Community Center on Tuesday, which is today at 6.30 p.m. And so you can, you can email ocheesyband.seminole at gmail.com for the virtual link if you're unable to attend in person. And then also from the executive office, the ARPA assistance deadline is quickly approaching. TR 23-33 was passed by the General Council on June 3rd, 2023, which places a deadline on the original $2,000 
ARPA funds that became available in October of 2021. So tribal members who have not applied for the ARPA assistance funds have until July 31st of 2023 to do so. That means by the end of next month, Delaney. And so this is not, just to clarify, this is not another distribution, but it's from the original TR 2021-29 resolution that was passed on September 4th of 2021. And so you can apply online if you go to sno-nsn.gov. All right. All right. So, and then also, just real quick, some no nation days, third weekend of September. That'll be here before <laughs> you know it. Yep. All right. What do we got? You got that ARPA team clothing app or the Judgment Fund clothing app. All right. We have ARPA clothing participants. So that's put out now. Where can we get that? Between July 1st and September 30th, you can go to the. Seminole Nation website to get an application there. And then also be available at the Judgment Fund office. So don't miss out on this opportunity here. Yeah, so there, there were some notes on the uh, ARPA clothing application or the, the notice that I've seen. Applications can be requested between July 1st and September 30th. However... Any application received before August 1st will be mailed back to you, no exceptions. So make sure that when you get your application, you don't mail them in early because they'll be returned back. So when you get them, make sure you mail them in for August, mail them in. You mail them in for August the 1st. Chingy face. Mm -hmm. And then also, let's see, CHR, we always talk about what they're doing Mondays, so so today, let's talk about Tuesdays and Thursdays for CHR and diabetes. Chair aerobics and Tai Chi classes at the New Life Church in Wewoka, those started at 10, so they're already starting today. But on Mondays and Wednesdays, you can do chair aerobics at the bridge here in Seminole. So if you're looking for a way to start getting out and about, that would be a good place to start, doing some Tai Chi, some chair aerobics. Yep. I do chair aerobics every morning. <laughs> we all do. Getting up and getting back <laughs> down into the chair. There you go. Mm. Positive outlook. Got to start okay. somewhere, right? Yeah. They also have brown bag fitness going on Mondays and Wednesdays. That's at Chafikni, but Tuesdays and Thursdays, Senior Citizen Building. And we woke at OAP. That's in the exercise room. Yep. So just look for them if you go out there. Yeah. And you know, the last uh, couple months they've been doing uh, family fitness where they uh, go out to the housing additions. And they've been in We Woke this month, but mm -hmm. these are the last two days for the family fitness, which is uh, going on in We Woke right now. So bring your adults, bring your kids five years and older to play and do activities while you get your workout in. And if you have any questions, contact our friend Kyle at 405-584-7941. So they'll also be having a diabetes prevention camp coming up July 18th to the 21st. That's yeah. full right now, right? I think, all, yeah, all their spots, they said, I think they got full like in, within the first day or two. Yeah, they might have a waiting yeah. list, though, so if you're so, still interested. Yeah, if you want to get your kid on that waiting list, you uh, still get in contact with them or turn in your application. So, yeah, that's a good thing, though, those camps getting full. Like oh, that. Yeah. All right, and then also the Choga de Lummi. Make sure you're getting in your birthday acknowledgments and then also any obituary links that you'd like to send in. You send that in to seminolemedia at gmail.com. And if it's a birthday, you can put in the uh in the header birthday or if it's in uh for an obituary put in memory in the header and so that way it gets to the right person and so that way um it'll be published in the newspaper yep. Yep. and then also if you have a story an interesting story to tell an accomplishment or a, a local tribal business shout out for the choga de Lummi or seminole nation radio Email that in as, as well. We want to see all of our tribal members do well. And if um, a shout-out from the Choga Delummi or even here on the radio show would help, you know, we want to make sure we do that. And so, um, yeah, email seminomedia at gmail.com to get those in. All right. 
Free summer meals for kids. Opt it home bucks. Come and eat. Inga. Obana. <laughs> but there's a age limit from ages 1 mm. to 18. That would eat. All the way to June 31st, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's at the Miksuki Mission Food and Nutrition Services. So. Well, he had leg edge, just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, clean. No. I know. All right. And then also from higher ed, we've got a few announcements coming in from higher ed. The Seminole Nation Higher Education Scholarship Application for the fall 2023 semester will open on July 3rd. It will be available on the tribal website, which is wwwsno dash nsn.gov paper applications available for pickup at the higher education office located at 630 north main street in seminole oklahoma 74868 next to the pink laundry and the deadline to get your applications in will be september 14th 2023 by close of business day all right, they also offer free GED classes open to the public Monday and Wednesdays. So just yeah, Dana was Dana was our guest. I was going to say a couple weeks ago, but I guess it's been a couple months ago now. Uh, But remember when Dana was on here a couple months ago talking about the adult GED classes, and uh, they have times between 9 and 4, and so you can go out there and take some classes from Dana. Again, that's at the same location, 630 North Main Street in Seminole. But the phone number, if you have any questions regarding GED classes, GED test, uh, 405-241-6801. And, you know, a good day to maybe go over there, Delaney, might be on July 20th. Because you know why? Why? Between 5 and 7 p.m., they're doing an ice cream social at the same building across from Pink Laundry. So they want you to come out and enjoy a refreshing treat and learn about what the higher ed department is doing. But you got to RSVP. So, Delaney, get get your pen ready because this is the number, 405-241-6801. So if you want to go eat some free ice cream, get your learning on, get some higher ed, go meet Dana over there at the uh, 630 North Main Street building, eat some ice cream. I might do that. (laughs) (laughs) Just RSVP first. Okay. (laughs) All right. Mr. White Killer, do we have any good thought-provoking music? I like it. I like it a lot. So this is from the Historic Preservation Office. But the lady, did you know the original reservational boundary when the Seminoles were moved to Indian Territory? We shared a territory with the Muscogee Creek Nation. In 1856, with the treaty with the Creeks, we were given our own sovereign land base that ran between the Canadian Rivers which included present-day Oklahoma City, Norman, and more. In 1866, during the Reconstruction Treaties, the federal government seized a majority of that land base. Did you know that, Delaney? A little bit of that, yeah. Yeah? That was um, probably not the the highlight of our nation, pretty much, but... And, you know, what, what even made it worse is after the forced sale of that land, we were forced in to buy the land here. They just quadrupled the price yeah. of the land and sold it back to Yeah, for the pennies that that land was sold for when the Seminoles bought the land back here, it was an inflated rate. Yeah. Oh, it's man. You start talking about my blood pressure going up a little bit. I got to chill back down, man. I, thanks, Jake, for giving us that uh, <laughs> that bit of Seminole history. <laughs> <laughs> from the Seminole Nation Historic Preservation Office. But uh, we we definitely appreciate everything they do. Um, Director Ted Underwood over there, and then also Ben Yahola, and then also Mary Cruz. Yep. All do a pretty good Hello. job over there. Some of those. And then give a shout-out to their Facebook page, Seminole Nation Historic Preservation Office. But, yeah, good job, Jake. 
And then also the Housing Authority of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma has an opening for a maintenance groundskeeper. So, and that position is usually open until filled. If you have a question or if you'd like to apply, you can contact the administrative officer at the Housing Authority at 405-257-6604. And so we talked about this a little bit earlier, Delaney, but the uh, chief of the Seminole Nation, Chief Lewis Johnson, uh, released a statement. Would you like to read that? Oh, okay. And so the uh, Supreme Court of the United States affirmed constitutionally of the Indian Child Welfare Act with a vote of 72, 722. And Chief Lewis Johnson said, this case has been a great concern to all of Indian country and was a topic of discussion a discussion at the Sovereignty Symposium, which concluded on June 14th. Tribal leaders and legal counsel recognized with the shifting of the court in recent years, many cases that pertain to tribal sovereignty and other tribal issues could possibly be ruled in such a manner that is not favorable to Indian country. Today, fair and honorable dealings with the tribal nations has been held up with integrity by the Supreme Court. Truly, this is a day to remember. And again, that's a direct quote from Chief Lewis Johnson of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma regarding the Supreme Court affirmation of the Indian Child Welfare Act with a vote of 7-2. to two. And so, again, uh, that was a good day. Um, Honestly, I didn't think it was going to go that way, but I was, I was happy to see that. You never know. Yep. And then also happening in, in Tecumseh, Mission Tecumseh, summer feeding, June 26th through July 28th, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you're in Tecumseh, you can go get a, uh, a free meal at the Bob Crouch Road and Hardwood Grove Road between 1130 and noon. At Slick Humphreys Park between 12:15 and 12:45, and City Hall from 1 to 1:30. So come get a free lunch there. Oh, and then wow. let's see what else we got going on. Princess pageants coming up. Oh yeah, that's a big, big one there. Seminole Nation Days Princess Pageant, which is held Stoven. The week before uh, Seminole Nation Days, okay. or the week leading up to it, like usually. The yeah. Eighth, maybe. Applications are available on the website, Seminole Nation website, so go look for that. Yeah, this is the big recruit, the big re recruiting time right now, so make sure you go get your application. So all you young uh, women out there and young ones that are interested in being an, an ambassador, you know, for the nation, um, the current uh, princesses are doing a great job. You know, I seen Olivia out at um, – or the little uh, little miss was out at Creek Nation. I seen her family out there at Creek Nation last week, mm -hmm. and then you seen was it Ayani? I seen, which is Miss Seminole yes, Nation. And, yeah, June, I seen Amir. Amir, yeah, yeah. I seen her also. Which is Junior Miss, and so yeah, they they're always everywhere. You know, I seen them in pictures at the uh, Solstice event that happened at the Fan Museum. And so they're always doing a good job. So we want to give a, a big shout out to the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma princesses and the princess uh, committee. Uh, Y'all was doing a good job. And then also all the princess moms. I know Joe Lee puts a lot of work nice into it. Yeah, yep. Cool. And then Aani's mom is always doing stuff too. And so, and then Olivia's family is all, uh, she usually packs her whole family with, 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 <laughs> when I see them. Well, they're, they're always rolling about six or eight deep. See all my cousins. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to them. All right. And then also for the OAP, uh, program that happens at the Senior Citizens Building. Uh, this week is, uh, let's see, today they should have been eating some spaghetti, but tomorrow, chicken strips, sloppy joes on Thursday and Friday, ham, pancakes, scrambled eggs. So they look like they're having a good time. But let's talk about a little bit about what's going on with uh, LIHEAP. We, we kind of skipped that because um, the social services director was supposed to be the guest today, but mm -hmm. unfortunately I think she ended up coming under the weather. So we wanted to make sure that we got this out to the public uh, on behalf of social services. But applications for LIHEAP cooling assistance are now available on the Seminole Nation website. 
which is www.sno-innocent.gov. Uh, you can see the flyer on the website and call 405-786-5025 for inquiries. And also note that Seminole Nation Social Services received more funding for the ARPA ETA Energy Assistance Program, which applications are also available on the website under the ARPA tab um, for that assistance. And so if a tribal member or family has already received ETA ARPA assistance, they are not eligible to reapply under the new until the new fiscal year, which starts on October 1st of 2023. That's coming up in a couple months. And so, again, these are two separate things. So LIHEAP, LIHEAP helps um, people that aren't necessarily Seminole, but you must be enrolled in a federally recognized tribe. You must reside in the service area of Seminole County. Uh, there are income requirements and then copies of household verifications. But this is to help with cooling. So AC units will be available to eligible households with no existing cooling system in the home and have not received a unit within the last three years. Delaney, when I was growing up, LIHEAP was the only way that we got AC in our house when I was growing up. You know, I grew up in a house that didn't have AC until I was about 16 years old. And when I was 16 years old, Lyheap, my grandpa was pretty old. I say he was pretty old. He was my grandpa, but I was living with them when I was 16. And, and so they found out he didn't have AC or we didn't have AC in our house. And so they got us an AC and they put it in the living room. Mm. Well, I switched my, my bedroom from the bedroom and started sleeping <laughs> in the living room because, yeah. man, it was nice. Yeah. But then my grandpa seen that electric bill after the first month, and that thing went out the window pretty quick. And so it was short-lived. Enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it while we had it. <laughs> but, no, it, it was a good time. But, uh, yeah, so LIHEAP, uh, that's LIHEAP right there. It's um, cooling assistance. But then also for the emergency uh, or the ARPA ETA energy assistance program, applications are available on the website there are different requirements for that one i think that you can live outside a seminole county if i'm correct on that one but you must be a seminole tribal member for that for that to help so uh, make sure you have if you have any questions contact 405-786-5025 and we'll try to have velvet on maybe next week to come and give a little bit more information on that but those applications will start there they began, let's see, Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Law Heap Cool Insistence beginning July 20th. So that started seven days ago. And so make sure you go ahead and start getting in contact with them. Whew, man, we Good got job. through a lot of information. Delaney. You got some birthdays? I have a couple here. Start off with A.J. Foster, Tanya Harjo, Robin Law, Tennyson Kirchie, Buffalo Hill, Lauren and Marissa Coker, Kay Northcock, Gia Burgess, and Hitchkinita Fuchsky, Fully Oa Gutchess. And then also, if you're getting hungry like I am, there is a burger sale, homemade burger sale going on today for Zaylin Biggie Mac over uh, close to Earlsboro. They'll, they said they'll deliver for five or more, but if you. Um, want to order a burger make sure you get in contact with them they said get in contact let's see oh it's over in uh, earlsboro at 25291 east west 1190 road lot 160 and there's not a phone number on there oh. is that, is that varnum the housing it says earlsboro but yeah, i think it's earlsboro. is that Dangerous. that varnum housing i'm not sure all right, but I remember them saying get in contact with Courtney or Kevin Obamack. Okay. So if you if you want if you want a burger, get in contact with them. They said they'll deliver for five or more. <laughs> All right, what else we got, Delaney? Let it go, stay. All right, well if you're looking for a job, make sure you go to the careers tab on the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma. But for the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma radio cast, is that a good word? You can catch the rebroadcast of the radio show on the Facebook page, YouTube, and tribal website, sno innocentgov for the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma every Wednesday around 8. If you have news or announcements you want to share on the community and events Facebook page, 
please email the communications staff at SeminoleMedia at gmail.com or call 405-652-7251. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, tune in every Tuesday at 11 a.m. right here on KWSH 97.7 FM or the legendary 1260 a.m. For Mark Williams, Josiah Jimbo, Engineer Bo White Killer. My name's Jeremy Fultz, but oh. Yeah,